Good morning, church. Pastor Linda from uh, Bethel Thedford here. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad today. That is scriptural, so we need to take it to heart. And Philippians 4, 6, and 7 tells us don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank him for what he has done. Then his peace, well, you will experience God's peace. And that's the peace that uh, passes all understanding. And that is the peace that will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are still there. And we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day that you've given to us. Help us to use it wisely. Help us to use it to bring you glory. Let everything that we do reflect our love for you and your love for us. Help us to be kind and compassionate, Lord. Fill us with your love so that people see you in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke 10, 27, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. No matter what you do, you're going to deal with people. So remember to love them with the love of the Lord. It's a warm one again today. It's 25 degrees out right now here in Lambton Shores, and it's going to go up to 30, which will feel like 36 degrees. Now, in the Fahrenheit, that's 97 degrees, so just a tad below 100. It will be mainly sunny, but there will be some cloudy periods coming in this afternoon. It's not saying that we're going to have thunderstorms. Um, now, they are calling for thunderstorms on Sunday and Monday. So um, that means it's close, so it could come in today too, or at least a little rain. Tonight it will be clear and it will be 20 degrees. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. That's what we want. We want to be on the Lord's path. And then things will go well. And even if things are difficult, because you got to remember, people make their own choices. If things do get a little rough, God will walk with you and help you to get through it. The COVID reports, Lampton Shores. Sadly, it's up by four. We've got 331 confirmed cases in the area. Well, that had been in the area. The number of deaths remain the same at 25. The recovered is at 293, so the active cases are up to 13. Now, the, um, there's been a message out from the mayor. It says, hello everyone. At the August 11, 2020 meeting, council passed a motion for staff to prepare a draft mask bylaw for Lambton Shores, which will be considered at the August 18 council meeting. With or without a mask bylaw in place, make sure you are practicing personal responsibility. If you cannot ensure physical distancing indoors, masks are recommended. Businesses may require a face covering in order to enter their establishment. Respect these rules and be prepared to wear a mask. Above all else, if you are feeling unwell or showing any symptoms of COVID-19, please stay home and follow public health guidance. COVID-19 is still here. With so much out of our control, we can control our own actions. Choose to be kind. Stay safe, healthy, and positive. Mayor Bill. Now everybody is, um, everybody's got a comment on mandatory mask orders. And so many people are upset that it's not mandatory here. Now it's our responsibility to do what is going to keep everybody safe. And you shouldn't have to be mandated to do that. But we were created and given a choice. So there you go. Ontario confirmed cases 40,459. That's up by 92. The number of deaths is up by one. It's at 2788. Recovered is 36,772. Those in hospital number 41. Of those, there's 17 in the ICU, and there's 9 on ventilators. So that number is coming down. We're below 10 on the ventilator. Thank you, Lord. The active cases is 899. So that one's gone up a few, too. But we're still below 1,000. 
Now, Ontario is building on its plan and taking additional steps to ensure a safe return to schools in September based on the best medical advice av available. I'm sure most everyone has seen the reports and ones that are in school would have received the emails or texts or messages from the uh, appropriate school boards. Uh, the plan is to be opening in September. Uh, there are guidelines to be followed and I'm going to read part of the report here. The government is allowing boards to make necessary adaptations in consultation with the lo local public health unit. And that's because each area is different. Each area has uh, different uh, cases, et cetera, et cetera. Adaptations could include smaller class sizes and leasing additional space. That's up to the school boards. The provincial guidelines provide a baseline and school boards are encouraged to adapt them to meet local needs and support students and families. They include in-person classes for elementary school students five days per week, for the 2020-2021 school year, masking for students in grades 4 to 12, focus on cohorting, and that means uh, they'll be with the same group of children throughout the school day. This will limit contact with multiple teachers and w a wide variety of classmates. And it, limit it limits the uh, student contacts. Adapting secondary school delivery for designated boards. Students will have timetables that will keep them in a small cohort of students. For both elementary and secondary students, in-school attendance will be optional for the 2020 to 2021 school year so that parents can make decisions that work for their children and their families. The important thing is everybody has to be safe and they don't want uh, the virus to be brought home if there's vulnerable people there. And if students are vulnerable because of their own health, they don't want them in the schools and end up getting sick. Okay, we'll carry on. School boards will offer remote learning for all students who choose this option. Students, teachers, and school staff must self-screen for symptoms of COVID-19 before leaving home. Students and staff who are on well must stay home from school. If a student has a pre-existing medical condition, parents are advised to talk to the family's health provider before returning to school. And you know, if you're still unsure, call the schools, whichever one your child is going to, call them, speak with the uh, people in the know, and that could be the principal or vice principal or nurse, whoever the case may be and find out what their advice is because uh, it's a daunting task making a decision that's going to affect your child's education. So get all the information that you can. The Canada report confirmed cases 121,234. That's 390 up from yesterday. The number of deaths is up to 9,015 confirmed cases, 100 confirmed cases recovered, 107,553. So the active cases are 4,666. The U.S. counts 5,414,660. That's 54,358 more than yesterday. Deaths are 170,378. Confirmed recovered, 2,838,282. Active cases across the U.S., 2,406,000 even. I don't know how they worked that one out. Um, as I've said before, I just give you the U.S. counts to keep everything in perspective. They do have uh, 337 million people and or 331 million people. We have 37 million people. So you can uh, do your own calculations, but their rates are very high. And um, this virus is, uh, it's really volatile. You don't know how it's going to affect. You can have a mild case or you can have a deadly case. So the best thing is don't get it at all. So uh, be cautious. Use some wisdom. Scripture today, Hebrews 2, verses 1 to 4. 
so we must be more careful to follow what we were taught. Then we will not stray away from the truth. The teaching God spoke through angels was shown to be true, and anyone who did not follow it or obey it received the punishment that was earned. So surely we also will be punished if we ignore the great salvation. The Lord himself first told about this salvation, and those who heard it testified it was true. God also testified to the truth of the message by using wonders, great signs, many kinds of miracles, and by giving people gifts of, through the Holy Spirit, just as he wanted. Praise God. Thank you for your word. 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 6. And this is about praying for all people. It says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the report and for the progress that's being made in this country. And we thank you, Lord, for the leaders that we have and ask that you hold them tight. Continue to use them and help them to uh, continue to be considerate of the people and to follow wisdom in making all of their decisions and help them to realize as well, Lord, that all glory goes to you and it shouldn't uh, be expected to fall on them. We ask, Lord, that as the children prepare for the return to school, whether in the school building or at home, that they're comfortable with that, that they're eager to get back to learning and to routine. And I ask, Lord, that you be with all of the parents who are anxious about it as well, and that uh, you give them the peace, your peace, Lord, that passes all understanding. Give them the peace that know, uh, lets them know that you are in control, even of the education, and that you will keep them safe. Our responsibility is to lift them up to you and ask that you take control to be in charge, because we cannot do it. And Lord, as people try to squeeze as much summer into these last few weeks, we ask that you give us all wisdom and understanding in what does take place. Help them to remember to stay social distance, to use protocol, to use safety cautions that are put into place for each of us to keep us all safe. We love you, Lord, and we praise you and worship you, and we look to follow your path, to be in your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Ephesians 4.3 says you are joined together with peace through the Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. So make every effort to continue together in this way. Trust God, trust his word, and all will go well with you. But everything is your choice. Nobody forces it on you. And if they're forcing it on you, then I'd be watching out. Isaiah 41.10, so don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and I will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Continue to pray for each other. Continue, especially in these uh, days where it looks like everything is uh, turning around to the way it should be and clearing up. We need more and more prayer because it can turn the other way real quick too. So don't get comfortable with it. Continue to be diligent in prayer and following protocol. There's still going to be a lot of people coming around in this area because or all of the tourist areas because um, people want to enjoy the sun. They know the winter is coming. And we're in the, I think it's La Nina. Um, so we're expected to get more snow this year than uh, in the El Nino. So more snow, colder weather. Or mild, no, milder and more snow. So you'd have to look it up to figure out what it is. I'll look it up a little later. Whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. That's whether you're talking, whether you're walking, when you see people, 
how you react, let it be to the glory of God. So, remember in the old days where they used to say, what would Jesus do? WWJD, all those necklaces and bracelets. Before you do anything, ask yourself, what would Jesus do? You will not succeed by your own strength or your own power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. And that's from Zechariah 4, 6. We need God in all that we do. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.